my bright green Pontiac has a bit of a misfire. I've got a set of new plugs to go in it over there. Uh, I want to pull all the plugs out and do a compression test. So compression test is where you check uh, when the pistons come up to the top of the combustion chamber, uh, how much compression is left there. Things like exhaust valves and piston rings and holes in pistons can all affect it. Head gasket, that can all do it. Um, that can all affect it. So what we need to do is check every individual cylinder and then we'll write down what results we get. And they should all be fairly similar. Um, if any of them are particularly high or particularly low, we know we have a problem. And uh, I'm, I think my misfire is down to just the car moving in and out, cold start all the time. So probably foul plugs. We'll have a look at the plugs all while they're out. And um, yeah, let's see if we can fix the misfire. So I got the plugs out. This is the driver's side, near side in the UK. And they all kind of look the same. They're pretty black, pretty uh, coked up, which is a good sign. Um, this is the other side, which look pretty much exactly the same. It's good because that means that there shouldn't be anything wrong with the engine. There's nothing obvious that's making them wet. Um, it's not a case of it's getting fuel and not burning it. So this is just the fact that it's been running rich because it's on cold start all the time, moving it in and out of the workshop. But I'm still going to do a compression test. So I've got my trusty bit of cardboard all drawn out. You can see front of the car there, and then I've got eight cylinders, perfectly drawn. Compression tester is screwed into the first cylinder. And all I'm going to do is go wide open throttle, turn the engine over, probably three turns will probably be enough. And then we'll see what reading we got. That'll be enough. Come around the front and we get a reading of nine bar. There we go. It's in the green, it's good. There's no right or wrong um, number. It's balancing them out. We want to see that they're all even. If there's any that are particularly low or particularly high, then we'll have to look into why. So, so this one here is a nine. And I'm gonna crack on and do the rest. Well, the results are in and it's good news. 999, 998.7.5. I'm happy with that. Then none of them are really particularly down or up from the last. Annoyingly, this one here, I can't get to because the steering column's in the way. So if I still have running issue, which I, it was running on less than seven cylinders. So I know it's not gonna be just the one that fault. If I do still have an issue, I'm gonna get myself a compression tester with a shorter end. They're not expensive. Um, so, I was in two minds whether to clean these plugs up and put them back in for now because the car's not going to be going home anytime soon. But they're not expensive. So I'm gonna put the, put the new ones in. Nice shiny new plugs. Um, part number if you're interested. 1127 BPR for FS. I think is the same as the one before. Yeah, BPR 5 Yeah, they are the same as the ones that came out. So, um, yeah, I'm a fan of NGK. I know some people have problems with them, but I've never had an issue with them. And here are my nice shiny new spark plugs. And uh, top tip, start them off by hand. The last thing you want to do is cross thread a spark plug because that'll be head off to fix your problem. Chances are it'll be head off to fix your problem. So I'm gonna, as you know I'm not, I'm gonna check the gap first. So I'm gonna find out what the spark plug gap should be, which is the gap up here between the electrode and the ground terminal. Um, some plugs don't need gapping. Um, this is old enough, I'm pretty sure it does. So, spark plug gap. Did a quick Google, and the gap on these should be about 0.9 millimeters. So I've got my feeler gauge set to 0.9 millimeters, and uh, I'm just gonna feed that in there. Yeah, these opening up a little bit, there we go. Yep, that's fine, just got a little bit of dragging there. So this one is ready to go in. 
I've now got seven more to do. Right, we are all back together, plugs all back in. Other than the fact that I may have drained the electricity, so I might have to get a jump pack out. Um, let's see how she runs. Now, this has misfired since I've had the car. Um, I think I need some electricity. Bear with me a moment. Right, let's try again. That's better. No misfire. Right, all I've got to do now is make it run properly and drivable before those plugs foul up again. Ugh. Yeah, happy with that. Oh, so much smoother. Annoyingly, I have no power steering at the moment, otherwise I would take it for a drive. Um, but the belt shat itself. Actually, no, the alternator belt shat itself. And um, I had to, I swapped it with the power steering belt. <laughs> so I've now got alternator and a water pump, but no power steering. And I also have eight cylinders. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe, and uh, I'll catch you next time.